Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to our channel. So this is a part two of our video. Where we are going to send a mail using Java and SMTP. So in the part one, we have created the app password, configure the Gmail side of things of for SMTP. In this part two, we are going to write the Java code. So let's move straight into it. So I have Eclipse opened over here. Eclipse is the ID which I will be using to write Java code. And over here, we have to create a Maven project. So first, let's make sure if we have Maven installed on our system. So if you don't know how to install Maven, we have a detailed video how to install Maven. You can check out the same. I will add it in the pinned comments below. So let me open command prompt and check Maven hyphen B. So here we get an output stating the Maven version as well as my Java version, which states that Maven is successfully installed on my system. So let me close this. So we will be creating a new Maven project. I have it directly over here in my project explorer. You might not have it. So you need to go to file new and we will create a new Maven project. So we will give it a simple project next. So we will give it a name. So we will do send email Java. So you can give this anything. This is a naming convention for your understanding. And in the description, we will give send email using SMTP and Java. So once we are done with this, I will hit finish. So here we can see that my project is building. It's built and here we have my project. So here we have all these folders that is created by my Maven. So we will make changes to our form.xml where we have to add certain dependencies so that we are able to send an email. So right after description before our project ends, we will add the dependencies. So this code I will be providing my GitHub repository also, this code will be available in the description. So you can copy and paste it from there. I'll have to make no changes to it. Paste it and save it. So once we are done with this, we will just close this. Now we'll have to create a package over here. So right click on your main source Java and we will create a new and we will go to package. So this package we will call it as send mail. So we have a package created. So let me create a new class for it. So we will call this class also as send main and we will enable public static void main. Let me hit finish. So we have it ready over here. Okay, we had an error over here. We had to actually rename this to com dot. So let me go to rename and refactor this. This has to be com dot. So let me hit OK and let me continue this. So here we can see our changes has been done. So now I've added the code to our GitHub repository. Also, it is available in my description below. So you can just copy it from there. We will paste this code over here. Also, let us make sure it is the same class. Yes. So the class is same. Let me save this. So here we will have to make few changes. So we will be sending it from the same ID to a same recipient. So we will be sending a self mail. So let me go and copy the new email which I have created. So this email is created just for test purpose. Once a video is done, we will delete this email. So don't try to send mails or try to use the same password. It won't be available. So we are creating a self mail where the sender is also the same person and the receiver is also the same person. So we will be using SMTP Gmail for this to the host 465. So let me again add authentication password over here and the email. So this is the email. Let me go to the password. So this password we have got it from our previous video where we have set as apps password and we have created a server over here. I've copied this password to my notepad. Now let me go to my Eclipse again. Paste this password and remove the spaces real quick. So once you are done with this, let me save this. Now we will have to run this file. So let me go to my application, right click on it, run as, run as a Java application. Okay. We have an error over here. We have not removed this one line. So let me save this again. Make sure you do it properly. 
So right click, run as, run as a Java application. So here you can see that our console is started. And here we get a message stating sent message successfully. So let me go and check my Gmail if we have received the message. So let me go to Gmail. Here you can see that a message is sent. It says this is an actual message and the subject is this is a subject line. So we can verify it over here. So here it says this is an actual message and the subject is this is a subject line. So what if we want to add a template and not just a message over here? Yes. So we can add an HTML template also in our email because email supports HTML templates. So I've added this code below. This is again available on my GitHub. You can just copy this, paste it over here, and you can make changes to it. Basically, you can write an HTML code within the message.set content. So let me save this and let me rerun the server again. So here we get the message again, message sent successfully. So let me open my Gmail to verify it. So here we have a mail sent. And this is a message that we have received. So this is an HTML message which has been sent. So it says hello there and it tells you to subscribe to our channel. And we have a button over here which is an hyperlink. Which redirects to our YouTube channel. Yes. So that's all for this video guys. If you have any doubts, you can hit it in the comment below. Also do like, share and subscribe and share it with your friends and ask them if they know how to do it.